What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys haven't heard, Spring Demise 3 has been updated for iOS 8. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be going through every single feature in Spring Demise, and that's basically because there has been no new added features to Spring Demise for iOS 8. So if you guys wanna see a massive breakdown of everything that Spring Demise 3 offers, then you definitely need to check out my other video that I've already created. It has about 20 minutes of me walking through pretty much every single thing on Spring Tomize 3. So I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check out if you want to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to give you guys a really quick rundown of what Spring Tomize is and some of the things that it can do. So to begin with, Spring Tomize is accessible right here on your springboard, or you can actually go into your settings here and you'll see Spring Tomize 3 right there. So two different access points to change up everything that Spring Tomize 3 can do. Now, what Spring Tomize 3 is, is a bunch of little tweaks all packaged inside a massive tweak. So the first thing you can see right here, you do wanna make sure that this is enabled. And then right here is where you're gonna be able to change a bunch of different things through all these different settings panels. So you have your animation, so you can change animations. You can change your app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, notification center, pages, status bar, and then right down here you have your credits. So just opening up a few of these, you can see that the animation, you have your options right here. So if you wanna use a custom speed for your animations, you would just toggle this on. And then if you wanted to change it, you would just slide this. So all the way to the right is gonna give you a longer animation. All the way to the left is gonna give you a quicker animation. And then to actually make these take effect, you will sometimes have to respring your device. Now, you don't always have to respring your device for changes to take effect but if it's not taking effect, go ahead and respring your device and it should go ahead and update. Now right down here, you also have your lock animation, so you can tap on that and then you can change out to blur, old TV, zoom out, slide away. So if we wanna do a blur, we'll go to that and you can see if we lock it, that it does a nice little blur effect. So we didn't have to respring for that one. So let's go ahead and unlock our device again. And then you'll see down here, we also have icons scrolling animation so you can change that up so this is basically like cylinder or barrel if you guys know what that is basically changes up your page animation so here's a ton of different uh, animations that you can go through right here and i actually have cylinder activated uh, so we can't really uh, see exactly what it does let's just try to do a interlace and then i'm going to go back into my settings and i'm going to turn off cylinder here all right so now we can see what interlace does and that's basically what the page animations are gonna do. You're gonna have a bunch of different options that you can tinker with. We'll just swipe over here to Spring Tomize and open that back up. So there's a ton here that you can actually try out. I'll let you guys do that on your own. Now, if we go back here, you can also see we have an app slider so we can hide icons, we can resize pages, we can do a different home action. You can see what that does right there. It determines what happens when you slide your home screen page up. So if we tap on that, you can see you can respring your device if you go to your app switcher right here and then you go to your home screen and you swipe up then that could respring your device if you want to set that to that and if we go back here we'll go into the control center and you can see everything that you can do right here there's a ton of different options you have your uh, first of all your enable or your kill switch right here so if you want to change this up you do have to enable it then you can change the color oh it looks like it crashed right there let's go back in and see if it does it again okay looks like that's not going to work let's go back Let's enable it and then hit color. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we'll just keep that in mind. So some things obviously might not work. I haven't done a thorough uh, investigation of everything right here, uh, but there's a ton of different things you can do right here. You can hide sections in your quick launch, your brightness, media controls, airdrop, control settings, or your settings, I'm sorry. So we toggle all these on and then we open this up. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it hides everything as you can see right there. So let's leave just the quick launch hidden. So you can see that works pretty good. Now this is a tweak behind this, it's called CC background that allows you to change the background color if you guys were wondering what that uh, different control center is. So you can see that works pretty good. So let's go back here into the dock. You also have hide the dock, hide background. You can resize the icons inside of the dock and then you can actually uh, see the percentages right here. So if you wanna change it up to really small or very large and you can do that right there. You also have hide labels. And for icons, if we tap on that, you can see you can change up the number of icons in the dock itself. You also have side inset, you have cover flow. If you like cover flow, you have factor and perspective. So this is basically gonna change or tweak how your cover flow works and how it looks. So if you don't know what cover, cover flow is, let's see if it actually will do this without respringing. Okay, so that's cover flow right there. So basically changing up the perspective is going to change how this looks or the angles in which these 
uh, turn, if that makes sense. But you can see right here, if we go back, we go back into the folders, you have nested folders that you can uh, enable, you have pinch to close, you have transparent background. Again, a lot of these have a ton of different options that you can go through. And again, if you wanna see everything and everything that it does, then definitely check out the 20 minute video that I've already covered. Uh, all these settings and all these tweaks. If we jump to the icons here, you can see you have hide updated, lock layout, disable wiggling, disable uninstall, hide badges, icon image effect. I mean, there's a ton of different stuff here, as you can see. So this is basically everything that you can do with Spring to Mize. Again, if you want a closer or more granular look at everything that Spring to Mize 3 can offer, then I definitely recommend checking out the video in the description below. That's gonna give you a real good rundown of what everything does. So let me know what you guys think about Spring to Mize 3 in the comments below. Is this the reason that you guys jailbreak? I know for a lot of people it actually is. For me, it's not, but it is a very good tweak and I highly recommend checking it out. It's $2.99 in Cydia. If you've already purchased it on iOS 7, then this is a free upgrade. So that's always nice. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. If you guys want to see more iOS 8 jailbreak tweak videos as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, peace.